Yes, but now you're wrong. Uh, no, he, he left for the office. Good. Because I kind of wanted to talk to you alone. probably forced you to do it, so I, we don't have you to. You want to go to the carnival? Do you? I know you hate social occasions, and I just can't see you having fun at a carnival. And not to mention that you are recovering from two gunshot wounds. It's just a really good reason for us n not to go. But it is Michael's charity. Okay, write a check. Then you don't want to go? You wouldn't even be asking me to go if it weren't for Spinelli and Maxi totally forcing you into it, right? chance to tell you thank you for helping to bring Michael and Christina home. Yeah, I, it was mostly Jason. Oh, well, it must have been tough or it would have taken so long, so thanks for not giving up. I am glad that they are home safe. That's all that really matters. Wow, gosh, it's it's getting so late and I have I have work to do, so gotta go. I want you to be happy. You know, I want that more than anything. I always have. I also want you completely to myself. Carly, take deep breaths right Even now. though I know that's not fair, okay? I know that that is not fair. Especially with me being incredibly happy with Jax. I mean, it's, it's only fair that you should be incredibly happy with... Oh. Okay. Calm down. Okay, you know what? You guys are compatible. You're compatible, and, and, and Sam knows exactly what she's getting into. She can go on crazy adventures with you now, and, and I can. I mean, my life has taken a, a completely different turn, but and I'm in a not, whole not, different you're place not right any now. Sense right now. Are you going to deny it? Am I wrong? What? We were just talking. We were oh my God! Are you nice going to... to sit there and deny? You are sleeping with Sam. Okay. Drink this. Here, drink this. Stay focused. Be calm, please. You're not answering the question, which means I'm right. Okay. You and Sam are sleeping together. Probably, you know what? We're not even going to have this conversation. Okay. I can handle this, because I, I, I don't want to violate your privacy, and I don't want to meddle in your personal life. <laughs> Since when? Come on. I know what I'm talking about, and I'm right. But you know what? I, I'm going to try and be a friend to you. At all the times you've helped me, I can help you with this. I don't need your help. Yes, you do. You do. You and Sam haven't told anyone that you guys are sleeping together, right? I mean, you're not talking about it at all, not even to each other. <laughs> when we're talking about it, of course, you guys aren't talking about it to I, each I'm other. I'm <laughs> not going to talk about anything with you right now at all. Oh, come on. You and Sam have been burned so badly. You're trying to act like this isn't happening. But something big is happening. If I didn't walk through that door, you guys were this close to ripping each other's clothes off. I was barely even looking at her. Exactly. Jason. You are getting ready to go into a really weird phase. You guys are going to be all over each other without even realizing it. You're going to be creating excuses to see each other. And here, here comes the most important part. When you make plans, Sam's going to pull back. She, she's going to say you're under no obligation. That's only because she doesn't want to crowd you. She's going to give you what she thinks you want. And if you're not careful, you two are going to be further apart than ever. 
I got your email about the new client. Yes, it's a complex case indeed, isn't it? And an excuse for Spinelli not to go to the carnival. Oh, no, 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 no. You are going to the carnival. I'm going to take care of this. No, no, no. I already made the initial calls. And I thought you were supposed to go to the carnival, Jason. Uh -huh. No, business before pleasure. Then, then my, Thank you. My sentiments exactly, and I did the intake interview. A measure of discretion and patience is required. I will follow your notes. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. That was puzzling. Did we not work together to allow Stone Cold and Fair Samantha to spend an afternoon in each other's company? Oh, let them figure it out. You're my main priority, Spinelli. How did I not know you were afraid of clowns? And how is it so bad that you won't even go to a carnival? Not even with me. No, 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 no. Hold the shipment. We cannot risk another raid. No, I cannot meet you. I have, uh, I have plans, Bernie. All right, thanks. Gotta go. Hi. Okay, so you're officially, officially off the hook. Spinelli brought in a new client today. I have to work, and you do not have to take me to the carnival. Are you sure you no, don't no, want to? No, no. Listen, this case gives us both the perfect out, so you are under no obligation at all. the new case an emergency? Sort of. Yeah, I mean, sure, Ed, the agency does need business. I have to work. I just wanted to come and let you know that you are officially off the hook. But I'd, I'd like to go. Then go. No. No, I want to go with you. I, I mean, I understand that you have to work. Why the hell are you dressed like a clown? I'm confronting, well, indeed I am, the embodiment of what terrifies me the most. So you're saying you're afraid of clowns? Yes. First, Samantha cuts to the chase. Um, I'm on my way to the carnival. Why? Well, I don't know. Get the full clown experience, mingle with other clowns, I guess. Who put you up to this? Fair Maximista, she does not want her groom to be to live the rest of his life in mortal fear. So, I guess you shouldn't be looking in mirrors anytime soon. Excellent suggestion. You know, the more I think about it, I... Shakespeare had clowns in his place. Puck, Touchstone, Yorick. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. He was a fellow of infinite jest. Most excellent fancy. Smelly, what's wrong? Just occurred to me that this Yorick was represented by a skull, a reminder that death is the one certainty for us all. See, clowns are just not happy. <laughs> Come on. What possible danger could there be at a carnival? I suppose you're right. And even if there were, I'm dressed like a clown and... The buffoon often gets the better of the devil. <sighs> you know, everyone in Port Charles was going to be at that carnival. I mean, who can blame them? They're going to have a Ferris wheel. Children laughing. I hate to miss it. Besides, what's a carnival without a little suspense? Without a little mystery? <laughs> Everybody's going to be having so much fun. <laughs> I think I'll send over a little surprise of my own. 